When I think about Deborah, I think about a woman with class, grace, and intelligence. Debbie's unique because she has no ceiling. She's a wonderful executive, a terrific leader. She's incredibly gracious. She is fiercely talented. Those words help to paint the illustrious career and life of Deborah L. Lee, President and Chief Operating Officer of BET Holdings Incorporated. Lee's ascent to the highest levels of BET has transcended the barriers of the corporate glass ceiling. She's a pioneer. And I know it took enormous determination and perseverance and, and faith to arrive at the place that she and BET are today. The thing that sets Deborah apart is her ability to be very professional um, and business-minded, but at the same time, she keeps it real. Two, one. Over the last 15 years, Lee has successfully navigated and led BET to its highest rated season ever. At a time when most broadcasting networks are seeing very limited growth, Lee has spearheaded the network's evolution into more than 70 million homes, making it the preeminent media company targeted to African Americans. She really knows her viewers, she knows her staff, she knows the on-air talent. She can answer any question about the music, long-form programming, marketing, she's really got it all. Before making history in 1996 as one of the first black women to be named president and COO of a major corporation, Lee's tenure at BET began in 1986 and has landed her in some of the most pivotal roles in the company's history. She has had every possible challenge in publishing, in construction, in production, in cable, in the restaurant business, and everything that's come her way, she's made a success. It's very difficult for African-American women. There are a handful of women at best who have achieved who are, who are in, the, in the upper echelons, and Deborah is one of them. Lee began her journey in Columbia, South Carolina. She grew up in a tight-knit military family that eventually settled in Greensboro, North Carolina, a proud community of African-American leaders and achievers where Deborah learned that she could do and be anything. As a little girl, Debbie was very smart. She loved to read. Her teacher sent one of her report cards home, but in the remarks where the teacher would write her remarks, she said Debbie was a very good student, but she was a little chatterbox, and I never dreamt that her chattering would lead to a, a day like this. After high school graduation, Lee was off to Brown University. From there, she landed at Harvard and earned a joint degree from the law school and the Kennedy School of Government. After Harvard, she clerked for the late district court judge, Barrington Parker, and from there spent four years at one of Washington's premier law firms. Among her numerous awards and accolades, Lee is a recipient of the 2000 Tower of Power Trumpet Award from Turner Broadcasting. In 2001, she was honored by Women in Cable and Telecommunications as the Woman of the Year and was named one of the 100 Most Powerful Women in Washington, D.C. by Washingtonian Magazine. Without question, Deborah L. Lee represents the total package, a real woman of vision who has looked beyond the horizon and permitted herself to have goals and dreams, each component complementing the other.